Hey everybody, welcome back to the Dev Marketer channel. It's time to continue learning Laravel 5.4 new features. In this video, we're gonna go over one of my most favorite new features, which is the fluent routing syntax that is available in 5.4 now. So the way we used to write uh, Laravel routes was always a little messy. Like I thought it was pretty good because you could organize it with groups and the middleware and stuff like that. But it was always a little messy because we were always doing all these nested arrays and all this other weird stuff to make it work. And they had kind of, kind of some weird wor like weird words, like for example, when you wanted to name a route, you you used the keyword as, as your one of the associated um, array you know key uh, indexes. So you would call it like as, which kind of made sense, kind of didn't. Um, and then you would say like uses to you know indicate which uh, controller it uses and stuff like that. It was always a little funky to me, but it worked. It worked good. But I feel like it's so much better now. It's a lot easier to do. I think it's gonna be a lot better for newcomers, but it's also just much easier to read and just know what's going on when you look at your new routing file. Now, before everyone panics or freaks out, the good news is routing hasn't really changed and um, all this stuff is backward compatible. But um, what's really nice about this is that, um, if you so there's no changes to your routes. I know we did changes to the routes file last time. Routes are now in their own folder down here and all of that's changed. None of that's different in 5.4, all that's the same. Um, so really the only thing that's different is that you have these options to do things like, for example, if we wanna name this route, we can just name this route home, right? So this is the syntax you might be familiar with. We had route get, we can do route post, we can do route delete and um, update and patch and all those kind of things, right? So we're familiar with those already. Those haven't changed. But what's nice is that now we can just name a route by just doing this, um, you know, this, this name right here. So we can just say, hey, oh, the name for this route is home. And now that route is named home, which is so much easier. If you guys remember the old way of doing it, you had to do, you basically wrapped this in an array, this second parameter, and you would do um, like as, or sorry, nope, that's why I hate this. You'd say uses blank, and then you do as another parameter, you would do as home, right? That's the old syntax. And um, obviously it worked, it was fine, but what happens when you start chaining things like middleware in here, it just got nasty and it, it just ended up being very um, cluttered and hard to read and it just doesn't really read well. So luckily with fluent syntax, all that's changed. So now you can do um, any of your route get, route post, anything like that. You add your actual URL as the first parameter just like before and then now you'll add your, you don't need to use the uses syntax, you can just put um, you know, where it belongs to. What controller does this use? And it's gonna go right there. We can name the route by just giving it a name of say home. We could add the middleware by just saying middleware um, auth. And look how much easier that exact same thing is to read here. If you had a whole bunch of these now, it's gonna read so much easier than the way it did before. All right, so now another thing you can do is you can also combine, well, before we move on, let me mention also these can be mixed up. So for example, if you want to, um, you can put get at the end. If you, want, well, if you want to read all of your named routes here at the beginning, you can do that. So then you can list all your named routes there at the beginning to make it kind of easy as you go down all your named route, all the names for your routes are right there. Um, and then you put this at the end. I kind of prefer doing the, the URLs at the beginning just so I can see all the URLs and how many get requests or post requests we have. But you can do it however you want, which is pretty cool. So that's one of the benefits to fluent routing is you can really do it the way that you want to do it and not the way that the framework forces you to do it. So that's really cool. So there's not much to this. Um, we're basically gone over everything already. Um, you can do names. You can do, let me see if I'm missing anything. Let me make notes real quick. Um, you can do um, names, middleware. Um, you can do groups and prefixes as well. So let's do route group. If you want to do a route, a, you know, you could do this before obviously, but now it's just a little bit easier. Let's say these are all in the users group and we want to put a bunch of, um, a bunch of these together. So you can make a group here and then you can have a whole bunch of routes that all have this, that are all inside of this group. Um, you probably want to give this a prefix of some kind. So you could go ahead and give this a prefix. 
Um, let's say the prefix is users as well, which makes sense. And so now all of these have a prefix of users. So this would be like basically um, localhost um, and then slash users slash home. That's what this URL would be. But anyway, so you can basically do any of that stuff. If you want to give the put the middleware into the group, then you can. Go ahead and just put this up here. And now you've got all everything inside of your group. However many of these URLs in your group will all have this middleware. So you can put the middleware up there. If you want multiple middlewares, you can um, go ahead and give it multiple middlewares. Um, just like that. So you've got all these options. It's super easy to work with. You Again, you can do prefixes. You can do groups. You can do middlewares. You can do named routes. All that ability is in there. You basically could do it the way you want to do it. It gives you so much more flexibility. It's so much easier to read. This is just... Uh, I'm so grateful for this feature. I am so excited because our route files are going to be so much easier to read and to write now and everything like that. So just really excited about this feature. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.